What's going on YouTube? Michael Davison here, and today I'm gonna to talk about what I'm bringing to Orioles Dream Week 2020. A little background on Orioles Dream Week, it's a fan fantasy camp for Major League Baseball um, that the Orioles put on. A lot of other teams have this same style of camp where you go down to their spring training facility, usually their minor league facility, and you play double headers uh, every day all week. You get uh, first class treatment, very similar to what the pros get, which is awesome. And I just wanted to go over what I was bringing to this year's Dream Week, um, just because last year I didn't really know and I overpacked. Um, and I'm sure there's new campers out there for any fantasy camp that might be wondering what to bring. So I'm gonna start with what's required. Okay, the main thing that you need for the camp is a glove. Um, Whatever glove you like, you can bring. This is just one I found at TJ Maxx a couple years ago. Um, same with batting gloves. Um, if you need batting gloves, definitely bring them. Um, these are another ones I just found at TJ Maxx um, a couple years ago, just in preparation to Dream Week. Um, the next thing you really need is shoes. Now you don't need cleats, you can use trainers or turf shoes. That's what my dad used, they had a really aggressive tread. But um, these are, first class fields um, that the pros play on, so they're nice. So you, these will get traction. Uh, these ones I had last year, um, they're the Nike Alpha Hirachi 2s, I think. Um, and I got Balmore put on them right here. Now these are Nike IDs I got done. And then this year I got a pair of new cleats. Got the mids, got Dream Week on the straps, and got the gold plate. Um, you don't need socks, but I'd recommend bringing them if you're very particular. Um, I just got just Nike football socks and a pair of the Orioles Stance Memorial Day socks from a couple years ago. Um, another thing I would recommend bringing you don't need is sliding shorts. Um, I got two pairs. I got a pair of both are three quarters and they have knee pads. Um, they don't have padded sides, but they have the, I guess, um, this material here that helps, I guess, sliding. Um, I did get a big raspberry on my side last year, so this kind of didn't help. Um, anything you don't need to bring, because they do provide you with two undershirts, a short sleeve and long sleeve. But um, I brought the Nike three quarter uh, sleeve shirt. that's similar to what the pros wear with the Nike logo on the collar. Um, definitely recommend, they give you a long sleeve, but I recommend bringing one if you want one does get cold, so just a black long sleeve and then have another just second set of uh, undershirt. Um, last year I brought a bunch and really only used one shirt the entire week. So um, don't ever pack that. Um, this stuff here you don't really need to bring, um, but I got a just a three quarter sleeve sweatshirt. And I'll probably wear this at the park every day. Um, got the majestic quarter zip hood um, I guess BP top that the that the uh, teams get. Um, I found this at Marshalls. It was really cheap. I probably wear this to the park every day, or um, just between games. And then this will be for when it's just cold. Um, it's the I guess BP top from a couple years ago. Um, I did cut the sleeves off, so that'll be nice to wear over my jersey. I'd recommend bringing seeds. Um, I don't know if they give them out. I know last year. They didn't get their order in, so they didn't have any for the co for the coaches. Um, but bring seeds. Um, got an Oriole hat for when it's cold out. Um, I definitely recommend bringing sunglasses. I got these last year. Um, didn't actually end up using them because the Oakleys right there were really good. But got flip ups. Plan on using these this year. Um, the Oakley baseball sunglasses are really nice. They really make the field like HD. Um, everything's brighter. Uh, if you're an eye black person, definitely bring that. I believe the trainers did have eye black sticks in the training room. Um, I do like the stickers better for when you're wearing glasses because then you won't get it all over your glasses. Um, this is just glove conditioner. I didn't use this while I was down there last year, but before I used it a lot. And this is just a hitting, um, I guess, aid. Then if you're planning on bringing bats, which you don't have to, but I would recommend it. Um, maybe for second year campers, definitely. 
But definitely, um, they have they do provide this Tiger stick, which is a grip. Uh, I guess it's not really pine tar, but it's a grip aid. Um, got pine tar stick too. But yeah, definitely, if you are particular about bats, definitely bring one. Um, these are um, just ones I got for this year, which should be good. Got the lizard skin grips. Um, those are really nice. They do provide bats down there. Um, they're 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 pretty good. Um, I think they have, I know they have Rawlings uh, bats and they hit well, but sometimes it was hard to find the uh, the bat you wanted. Now I'm like a 33 inch bat and those were hard to find sometimes. Um, and then you definitely don't need to bring this. They do have helmets, but I picked up uh, a Marlins helmet from this past year. Um, I'm gonna take the Marlins logo off and put my own Oriole sticker kit on. This is the Rawlings S100 Pro Comp the ones they use. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, they do give you belts, but I left mine down there last year, so I had to buy a new one for the reunion game this year. Um, and that's pretty much everything you, you should bring. Um, anything I'm bringing, which I brought last year, is my bag. Um, it has a clip on to hang on the fence. Um, I am getting a bat bag, so I can take down, or put it underneath the plane to put the bats in. Keep them safe, hopefully. So that's everything I'm bringing the Dream Week this year. Like I said before, the things that you really need to bring are just a glove and shoes. They don't need to be cleats. I would recommend cleats um, just because the fields are perfect. The infields are perfect. Um, you can get traction. Um, if you don't like cleats, then I definitely would rec recommend trainers or turf shoes. Um, cleats do have to be uh, molded plastic um it can't be metal uh, no they don't want anyone to get hurt and um it's really understandable because you could get hurt um and they do provide you you do get the jersey pants and hat um all official um like it's player issued stuff which is cool um you get the white uh top and black top and then white pants um you get a belt, and they also provide you with uh, long black socks. Um, I didn't wear them last year, but I know a couple guys did. So socks, you don't need socks, but I'd recommend socks. So that's it for this video. Just wanted to make it for anyone out there that had questions for any of the Major League Baseball fantasy camps. Uh, first timers or just people just looking for videos on fantasy camps that want to just relive it oh, while they're not not playing um, but yeah just I want to show you what I was bringing uh, make sure you don't overpack don't underpack and maybe next video might be just what uh, we do at Oriole Dream Week every year just going over the itinerary and I'll talk about uh, last year versus hopefully what will happen this year and I'll see you then